Timeless Life Philosophies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode on our channel, where we dive into the most thought-provoking and boundary-pushing ideas out there. Today, we're tackling a subject that's as controversial as it is captivating. We're discussing Terence Howard, an actor-turned-theoretical thinker who's challenging fundamental scientific principles with his unique theories. But this isn't just any celebrity side project. It's a deep dive into a 6,000-year-old secret that Howard believes could change the way we understand everything from basic arithmetic to the structure of the universe. So why focus on Terence Howard? Because what he's proposing isn't just revolutionary, it's also a viral sensation, sparking debates and discussions across the globe. Whether you're a science buff, a skeptic, or just curious about new perspectives, this video is for you. We're going to explore these ideas in a way that's easy to understand and even easier to engage with. Grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's start unraveling these mysteries together. Are you ready to look at the world through a different lens? Let's dive right in and find out what all the fuss is about. The Spark of Controversy Terence Howard, best known for his roles in Hollywood blockbusters, took the academic and scientific communities by storm when he presented his theories at the prestigious Oxford Union. His speech, now a YouTube phenomenon with over 10 million views, wasn't just a fleeting news headline. It became a cornerstone for intense academic debate and public curiosity. But what exactly did Howard propose to cause such a stir? At the heart of Howard's controversy is his claim that challenges the very foundation of mathematics, asserting that 1 times 1 equals 2. While to most of us, this might seem incorrect based on what we've been taught since grade school, Howard suggests that our understanding of mathematical operations needs a radical overhaul. This isn't just about numbers according to Howard. It's about how these numbers relate to the real physical world. The implications of his claim are far-reaching. If the basic principles of arithmetic are up for debate, what does that say about everything else we've structured on these principles? Howard's stance isn't merely to provoke or to baffle. It's a call to question and, perhaps, to advance our scientific and mathematical dialogues. Many viewers and scholars initially dismissed his claims as mere celebrity musings. However, as discussions progressed, a significant number of people began to ponder the possibilities. Could there be a missing element in our traditional understanding of math that someone outside the scientific community has stumbled upon? Howard's theory suggests a more interconnected and dynamic universe than our current mathematical laws depict. By blending traditional celebrity influence with an unorthodox approach to science and mathematics, Howard has not just captured the attention of millions, he has also invited us to question the reliability and completeness of our knowledge. Whether his theories hold water or crumble under scrutiny is a matter for scientific debate, but the spark of controversy he has ignited is undeniable. It invites us to explore and challenge the norms, encouraging a broader participation in the scientific discourse that often remains gated to the academic elite. Challenging the norm. In delving deeper into Terence Howard's claims, let's simplify the concept. His assertion that one times one equals two. To most, this defies the basic rules of arithmetic that have been unquestioned pillars of education and scientific reasoning. However, Howard challenges us to rethink these foundational beliefs. He argues that our conventional understanding of numbers and their operations might just be a limited perspective of a much broader, more complex reality. Think of it this way. When children first learn to draw, they use basic shapes and lines. As their understanding deepens, their drawings become more complex, integrating shades, textures, and dimensions they initially ignored. Howard suggests that our current mathematical operations are like those basic drawings, and what he proposes is akin to adding those layers of depth and texture to how we interpret numbers. His theory, teriology, doesn't just stop at challenging arithmetic, it extends to the very fabric of physical reality. If we consider his claim from a theoretical standpoint, it suggests that the universe might operate on principles 
that are not linear and straightforward as our current laws of physics imply. This challenges the rigidity of traditional Euclidean geometry, which is fundamentally based on flat space assumptions, and opens up a discourse about the nature of reality itself, hinting at a more curved, interconnected, and dynamic universe. For instance, consider the phenomenon of gravitational lensing in physics, where the path of light bends around massive objects like galaxies. This real-world observation already hints at a universe where traditional geometry doesn't always apply. Howard takes this idea further, suggesting that just like light, the fundamental operations of arithmetic might also not be as straightforward as we think. What Howard is proposing is radical and undoubtedly meets skepticism. The academic and scientific communities have rigorous methods for validating new theories, often requiring detailed evidence and reproducible results, which teriology lacks in its current form. Yet, the essence of Howard's challenge lies not in overthrowing these communities, but in encouraging a broader, more dynamic approach to questioning and understanding the fundamental principles that govern our universe. By using his platform, Howard has not only brought attention to his theories, but also emphasized a crucial aspect of scientific endeavor, the perpetual quest for knowledge. Whether his theories will stand the test of time and scientific scrutiny remains to be seen, but the discussion itself serves as a powerful reminder of the ever-evolving nature of science and our understanding of the world. This approach, while controversial, stirs the scientific pot and might just be the catalyst needed for new discoveries or the reinforcement of established truths. The Ancient Connection Terence Howard's journey into the realms of ancient secrets brings us to the intriguing and mysterious symbol known as the Flower of Life. Found etched into temples and monuments across the world, this symbol is revered not just for its geometric beauty, but for its historical and spiritual significance. Howard suggests that this ancient pattern holds the key to understanding the universe's very blueprint. But how does a symbol transcend time and culture to become a potential scientific breakthrough? The flower of life is composed of multiple evenly spaced, overlapping circles arranged in a flower-like pattern. Each circle blends into the next, creating asymmetrical and harmonious design. This pattern has been studied not only for its aesthetic appeal, but also for its mathematical precision and its purported spiritual significance. In various cultures, it is seen as a visual expression of the connections life weaves through all sentient beings, representing the interconnectivity of life and the fundamental aspects of space and time. Howard's interpretation of the flower of life goes beyond its historical and cultural narrative. He proposes that this symbol encodes the laws of physics and mathematics in a more integrated holistic form than the fragmented, sometimes contradictory scientific frameworks we currently use. According to him, the flower of life reveals that everything in the universe, from the smallest particles to the largest celestial bodies, operates in a coherent, interconnected manner. This perspective encourages viewing the universe not as a collection of separate parts governed by random laws, but as a unified whole where patterns and relationships are paramount. Imagine if the principles depicted by the flower of life could be applied to develop new technologies or revolutionary approaches to energy and medicine. What if this ancient symbol could teach us more effective ways to harness natural forces or reveal new insights about the structure of reality itself? Howard's theory suggests that by decoding the flower of life, we could potentially unlock a new era of scientific enlightenment that bridges the gap between ancient wisdom and modern technology. The idea that an ancient symbol could hold contemporary scientific value might seem far-fetched to some. Yet, history is replete with instances where knowledge lost to time was rediscovered and found to have profound implications for the present. From the rediscovery of heliocentric theory in the Renaissance to the modern reinterpretations of Eastern medicine, the old and the new often converge in unexpectedly fruitful ways. Howard's linking of the flower of life with modern science challenges us to consider the possibility 
that ancient civilizations might have possessed sophisticated understandings of the universe that have been overlooked or forgotten. By revisiting these ancient symbols and the wisdom they may contain, Howard isn't just proposing a new scientific theory. He's inviting us to expand our scientific horizons by integrating the old with the new, the esoteric with the empirical. Modern Implications The potential implications of Terence Howard's theories are vast and varied, touching on everything from technological innovation to the fundamental ways we interact with our environment. If Howard's reinterpretations of basic mathematical principles and his insights into ancient symbols like the flower of life hold true, we could be on the cusp of a new age of discovery. But what does this really mean for us today? How could these ideas translate into real-world changes? Consider the realm of technology. Current advancements are largely based on existing scientific principles that dictate everything from computer engineering to the design of energy systems. Howard's theory, which suggests a more interconnected and dynamic mathematical framework, could revolutionize these fields by introducing new formulas and algorithms based on his principles. This could lead to more efficient energy use, breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, and perhaps even new modes of space travel. In the field of medicine, Howard's ideas about the interconnectedness of natural patterns could transform our approach to health and healing. Traditional medicine often focuses on treating symptoms rather than addressing systemic issues. By applying a more holistic, pattern-oriented approach, we might develop methods that anticipate health issues before they arise, or treat them in more natural, less invasive ways. Furthermore, Howard's emphasis on the impact of frequencies on human health could usher in a new understanding of how our environment affects us on a cellular level. This could have implications for everything from urban design to the creation of new therapeutic techniques that use sound and light to heal. What about our everyday lives? Howard's theories could alter the very fabric of our daily existence, changing how we build our homes, plan our cities, and interact with our environment. If the universe is indeed more interconnected than we currently understand, then every decision, every action might have far-reaching effects that we can learn to predict and harness for the collective good. Of course, the transition from theory to application is not straightforward. There are significant challenges and potential pitfalls in reevaluating fundamental scientific principles. Skepticism from the scientific community is just the beginning. Practical implementation, technological limitations, and ethical considerations will all play a role in determining whether Howard's vision can become a reality. Despite these challenges, the mere discussion of these ideas has value. It pushes the boundaries of what we consider possible and encourages a broader dialogue about how we understand and interact with the world. Whether or not Howard's theories prove to be correct, they compel us to think bigger, to question deeper, and to imagine a future that is as boundless as it is interconnected. The Call to Open Minds In this final part of our exploration into Terence Howard's revolutionary ideas, it's time to reflect on what this all means for us as individuals and as a society. Howard challenges us not just to think about new scientific principles, but to reconsider our entire approach to knowledge and discovery. What does it mean to have an open mind? And how can challenging established truths lead to greater understanding and advancement? Having an open mind doesn't mean accepting every new theory or idea uncritically. Instead, it's about being willing to question, to explore, and to test the boundaries of what we think we know. It's about allowing ourselves to be curious, to engage with new concepts, and to participate in debates that push the envelope of collective knowledge. Howard's journey into the realms of science and ancient wisdom is a powerful reminder that discovery is not just about the accumulation of facts, but about the journey of understanding. It's a process that is continually evolving, shaped by the contributions of individuals who dare to think differently and challenge the status quo. This call to open our minds is not just about science, it's about how we approach problems and solutions in every area of life. From climate change to social justice, the challenges we face today require innovative thinking and a willingness to challenge established norms. 
Howard's theories encourage us to think holistically, to see connections where we might have seen divisions, and to seek answers in places we might have overlooked. As we conclude this video, I encourage you to think about your own perspectives. What are the assumptions that guide your understanding of the world? Are there ideas or beliefs that you might be willing to question or reevaluate? Terence Howard's theories might be controversial, and they might not all withstand the rigors of scientific scrutiny, but they serve as a valuable catalyst for discussion and exploration. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through Terence Howard's ideas and the ancient secrets he seeks to uncover. Whether you agree with his theories or not, I hope this discussion inspires you to explore new ideas, engage in meaningful debates, and contribute to the ongoing quest for knowledge and understanding. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. What other topics or theories would you like us to explore next? Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop learning. See you in the next video.